Hey guys, this is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today we're going to be looking at none other than issue number two of Wonder Woman in the advertisements in it. So in other words, we're taking a trip back to the mid-80s. Yeah, I believe this is 85 or 86. I really like this, co this cover, and speaking of covers, if you didn't watch the last episode of Cover Battle, then you missed it, because this was one of the issues in it. We looked at Wonder Woman issue one, two, and three, where you can look at that, watch the video, look at each cover, analyze them, and pick the one that you would pick for your choice. So, because hey, mine might be different than yours. This was the one I picked, and even though number one was getting a lot of popularity too, because it does have a classic appearance here, but there's just something about this issue that drew me in. Now, I'm going to do this very relaxed. So if you hear me sipping out a cup of coffee, hey, it just is what it is. I'm still dealing with a little bit of allergies that are sort of you know getting me so let's jump inside here but very first advertisement we have is packs of fun for everyone with m&ms back when the gender didn't really matter it was just a color and a cool thing to eat because yeah who gives a crap about gender when we're eating candy but once again that's just our age and the way things are today it says m&ms chocolate candies the milk chocolate melts in your mouth not in your hand and i think we all remember that that little jingle ad there it was really successful we still remember it today and i think that says a lot so let's see what else we have in here advertisement wise oh there's one i can see there let me get to it here turn the pages here there we have we have zittles <laughs> we have exits pimples so embarrassing you want to leave the party and we have a blimple a pimple so big it feels like it covers your entire face you know i didn't have a lot of problems with that uh back in my youthful days matter of fact i believe i get more of them now as an adult yeah and and I'm, we're talking in my getting to be late 40s here coming up so uh yeah go figure right but you know i mean this isn't a wonder woman issue so i wonder if they they think that's a, a good marketing way with this oxy ad here because zits are no longer a laughing matter <laughs> let's turn to the next one here we have oh let me see here get to that page there stealth this is for a uh, toy that uh, like a model kit or whatever that you can actually fly stealth wave of the future today your assignment as pick which is pilot in command, is to fly a low or high level intruder mission while avoiding radar detection and missiles. From the computer design curved wing tips to the spe uh, specially shaped forward control surfaces, the SBX flies as good as it looks, and it's ready for action. Special tricycle landing gear means super easy takeoffs and landings, and if anybody like me knows anything like this, you probably didn't have such good luck landing. <laughs> uh, my brother loved flying uh, the little helicopters, and he was really good at it. And he, he he started with the cheap ones and worked his way up to more expensive ones. And he wanted me to try it. He brings this one. I was like, I'm not flying your expensive helicopter. I'm not going to wreck that thing. So he brought me one of his cheap ones that already had broken landing gear that was all taped up. <laughs> and we used that to do it. And, and it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. I think I'd like to maybe get my son and, and get a cheap one and, and fly a little one around with him. If, if you ever flown one of those mini helicopters, I, I'd like to know if you have. If you have, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Or even with the planes. I've never flown the plane because I, I know I'd wreck that for sure. So let's go on here and see what else is, is in here. here. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see if I can actually turn the page. It'd be wonderful. <laughs> here we go. Look at the wonderful art. Yeah, There's some good art in there. Okay, here we go. We have prizes or cash from sales leadership club once again I, if you've seen me before in these videos you know i'm not a big fan of these things i just i don't know trying to sell all this stuff to to get little things and the chances are you could get them but probably you'd have to sell a lot let me zoom in here on some of the stuff that you can get yeah look at that i just, i was always afraid that the quality wouldn't be good enough you know or but you could just get a regular job and earn this stuff for a lot quicker and a lot easier and a lot cheaper brand names such as spalding and coke casio yeah as i said i you look at those guns there whoa i wonder i bet you those couldn't be sold today <laughs> but i just yeah i was never much into those kind of things uh, that just wasn't me uh, i'd rather get a job and buy what i wanted rather than having to search through a prize catalog but if you ever did one of these let me know. I, I wonder if uh, how it turned out for you. Did you get a lot of cool stuff or did you take the cash? Whatever it was. How did it work out for you? I guess it's time to move on to the next page here. Let's see what we have in this book here next. 
And we, oh, a bicycle. We have outrageous 18 speed. So fast it'll blow their doors off. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be driving by a lot of cars. <laughs> 18 speeds go faster than fast. 18 speeds give you more gears of more power to climb. Higher top speeds get outrageous 18 from Magna. Not Maga. Magna. We don't want to piss some people off, right? Because right, so they all get all whiny. <laughs> and look, you get a free water bottle with purchase. Yeah, so you spend all this money on the bike and you get a water bottle that costs less than 50 cents to make. Because, you know, that, that's, that'll, that'll sell it right there. They'll make you want to have to have that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Before I move on to the next, uh, next page here, I just want to say, take a moment to say thank you to all these people right here. Without these people, this video, as well as many others, would not be possible. I consider them producers of the channel because really, they really are what keeps this channel going i do not run ads on this channel so without them i wouldn't be able to do it so take a moment and thank them they do it through patreon or subscribe star or you can even give a one-time donation through there there's a link down there below for that all right so let's move on to the next advertisement let's see what we got here and almost there, there we are right right now that's almost hard to say right right now it's w-r-i-t-e-r-i-g-h-t -E now right right now huh okay we have a mini bike kit for 49 dollars that's interesting we have comic collector we have muscle man so you could be all nice and strong we have your usual little gimmick items and toys well that's an interesting one get out of the dark the consumer information catalog will enlighten you with over 200 federal consumer oriented publications many are free and all are helpful get your free copy by right now how many kids are reading a comic book and are gonna have get out of the dark <laughs> look at that muscle man though on i can't help it but look at that oh here we are we have atlas body in seven days i you know i do some light workout i try to keep in shape but i can't say i have an atlas body but i can also say i don't know how you get that atlas body in seven days if you ever tried that i would love to know how that worked out for you did you get your atlas body in seven days oh there once again look at all those cheap little ads there and we have self-defense too uh, advertisement over there as well because you can learn kung fu or karate and whoop some rear now that makes more sense in a comic book to me than uh, an advertisement of get out of the dark i mean look i mean who doesn't want to know kung fu back at that time the kung fu craze wasn't as big as it was a few years before but you know it was still a little bit there oh there we have the missed an issue those are always good in case you missed an issue because those are the days where you'd be looking all over in spinner racks to try to find your issues and you might have missed one and you can use things like that to try to get them i actually for some of those that have noticed i ran a comic book resale shop whereas i would find select comic books that people wanted as well as take their orders and make those deliveries to them oh here we go look at this one we have the Doom Patrol, the original hard luck heroes, are back from the grave. Or are they? The Doom Patrol. Wow, you know, the Doom Patrol I always found pretty interesting, but I never really read a lot of their stuff. They just never, I don't know, quite did it for me, and they never really did reach that mainstream popularity. Now, they are a lot more popular now that the TV shows have been out there, but I do find that I'd like a little more action in my Doom Patrol TV shows. Uh... They're a little light on the action, in my opinion. But what are your thoughts of the Doom Patrol? Do you, do you enjoy that show? Let me know. I, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that. But, eh, still a pretty good show. Let me see what else got here. Some great Wonder Woman art here. Okay, there we have the Mile High Comics. I would use those once in a while as well when I take large orders and... and and uh, I would try to utilize this to get uh, deals, you know, because you group a whole bunch together, pay shipping, and get pretty good price. So I'd take all the orders, and it would help other people, too, because they get the individual comic books that they wanted for less than the comic book, uh, comic shop prices, which are real, as many comic shops around there. And when you did get them, uh, a lot of them in our area would always want the price guide prices, which are usually pretty high. At, you know, the price guide is just a reference. It's not how much they always go for but some stores like to sell it by that it's just an idea of how much they would sell for and here we have another prizes or cash because well you can never have enough of trying to get kids to have prizes or cash and once again eh, not my kind of thing i was always uh, a little bit of you know i'd rather get a job just get a job and earn the stuff you want because i was afraid of this kind of stuff that would be maybe chintzy not built well that kind of thing even though they say name brands and all that 
I just, eh, it just didn't seem like it. I'd rather get a real job and earn money and get what I wanted instead of having to pick through a list here or get a little tiny bit of cash. And don't forget, you can ask for Sally. I bet you Sally's not there anymore. What do you think? Does Sally still work in there? Is that place, the Olympic even sort of exists anymore? <laughs> and we got some more pages here. So for next issue. Oh, there we go. Buy three and get one free. Subscribe to any three DC titles and get a four subscription of your choice free. Here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Please indicate whether you are renewing, extending, or just starting a new subscription. $9. Think about this. $9 for 75 cent books and those are the titles think about it. that's nine dollars for 12 issues in today's day and age nine dollars gets you barely over two issues two issues and then you're lucky to get anything else other than that you probably wouldn't have but a little bit of change in your pocket that should tell you how much inflation has really hit us lately wow i wish prom books are back like that back to those prices again here we go. Here comes the fudge. Oh, <laughs> insert joke here. All right, introducing Striped Chips Ahoy. Hmm, six fudge stripes on the front, one tremendous stripe on the back. They ought to call these Joe Biden cookies because you get one fudge stripe down the back. Sorry, Joe Biden fans. It's just a joke. Deal with it, okay, please? Says there's original Chewy and now new strip Striped Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies to see how Chips Ahoy fudged up their cookies. <laughs> <laughs> fudged up the cookies cut out squares paste each one on a three by five card in the lower right hand corner and put the cards order uh, put the cards in order and just flip them up but there we go not only can you fudge up cookies you could fudge up your life you could fudge up the economy right oh boy i'm getting a little a little wrong territory there don't worry it's okay uh you know if you ate a lot of taco bell you've probably fudged it up to yourself as well because you know whew, that's a dangerous thing all right, everybody. Well, I want to take a moment just say thank you for watching this and sticking out through the end. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that share. Evidently, the share is the new big thing there, and that will really help this channel as well. So once again, we went over Wonder Woman issue number two from the mid-80s. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Help out the channel if you don't mind. And until next time, keep it frugal.